Hello, and welcome back to Spirit Quest Reviews. Let us begin our sojourn together. I will be your tour guide through the wonderful experience of whiskey today. And the whiskey that we are going to be experiencing together today is none other than Evan Williams Black Label. Let me get the bottle up for you to look at. There it is. Evan Williams, Kentucky's first distillery, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I highly doubt that they are, in fact, uh, Kentucky's first distillery, given that the distillery that produces Evan Williams, which is Heaven Hill Distilleries, uh, was established in 1935, and bourbon dates back to at least the early 1800s go figure so without getting too much deeper into the history and the lore of the spirit let's go ahead and experience it a little bit first so in the nose you are likely to experience wood spice Plenty of caramel, and perhaps a faint touch of melon. Yes, melon. The same kind of melon that is in Maduri Melon Liqueur. Yes. Caramel comes through on the palate, as does oak spice and vanilla, as you would expect for a bourbon, almost any bourbon. But this one also contains that melon flavor that I mentioned, as well as a plum and apricot, of all things, I would say. It is sweet, quite sweet, once you get past the oak spice. So... Uh, first of all, I would like to add a little bit of water. I'm going to be adding 5 milliliters, which is 1 teaspoon. This is bottled at 43%, which gives you a little bit more bang for your buck, perhaps, but also holds in more of the flavor, which is quite important because that is what we are here for, is it not? So while that water is opening up the spirit, and it does open it up, I want to be telling you a little bit more about uh, my own experiences with Evan Williams bourbon. Evan Williams was the second bourbon that I ever had the pleasure of experiencing, my first being Jim Beam. Evan Williams Black Label has a special place in my heart. Evan Williams Black Label is what I think of when I think of a no-nonsense, hard, gritty, down-to-earth, almost saloon-like whiskey. This could be in part because it was my grandfather's favorite whiskey, and I think of him when I think of Evan Williams Black. Not only that, but it's extremely affordable. It is hard, hard to find comparable quality for the same price. I paid $10 for this bottle on March the 25th, uh, 2018. And I just can't think of another bourbon that is a comparable quality, honestly, uh, for the price range. Um, even Jim Beam is up to $14 a bottle where I live now. So, $4 cheaper than Jim Beam. And I would say that it's got more going on for it. It is quite interesting. And about the black label bit. What is, what is black label? Are there other labels? You bet there are. And I will be reviewing another one coming up soon. Evan Williams Green Label, which is bottled at 40% alcohol by volume. As for 
Evan Williams Black Label. It is touted as being sour mash, which may not mean as much as it sounds like it means. It uh, Sour mash refers to the process of how the grains were prepared f prior to distillation and fermentation. Um, when a batch is finished, they take some of the grains from the old batch of uh, the mash and put it into uh, the new mash, and that is why it is sour. It is sour from being fermented already, and this fermentation, uh, this already fermented mash helps set off the fermentation in the new mash, from my understanding and supposedly gives it a, a slightly different flavor. Um, I don't know how to what extent that is true, but uh, most bourbons do market their sour mash process with some degree of fervor. Anyway, if you've ever seen it before, now you know what it is and you can evaluate rather to be persuaded by the marketing or not. Also, uh, I would like to say on this bourbon that it is quite mixable. If you are into mixed drinks, it goes uh, quite well in a whiskey sour. A, a bourbon smash, you can't go wrong with Evan Williams Black in a, in a whiskey or bourbon smash. Um, my grandfather liked to mix uh, Evan Williams Black with 7-Up, which is uh, a drink popularized by Seagram 7, 7 and 7, um, but really any whiskey and any lemon-lime soda will go quite nicely together if that is what your palate likes. So much being said, let's return to the spirit, shall we? Oh yes, the plum and nectarine apricot smells are coming back in full force. I do get a sweet wine, a red wine smell in the nose, uh, almost like a, a blackberry or a cassis smell. And honey, there is honey uh, mulberry jam. Uh, it is quite sweet in the nose. Let's find out how it tastes. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, yes. So much, yes. Oh, that plum blackberry jam honey flavors or aromas that I smelt in the nose definitely come through as flavors on the palate which makes me quite happy <clears throat> it is quite amazing what a little bit of water and time will do to a good spirit try this yourself tell me if you think I'm off somewhere tell me what you experience because taste is so subjective uh, you might experiencing something totally different and that's fine that's okay but let me know do tell me in the comments tell me what your favorite budget bourbon is in the comments maybe I'll try it someday or better yet maybe uh, at some point I'll give you a mailing address and you can send me a sample that you'd like for me to try and see how closely our palettes line up I would greatly appreciate that and uh, I'd be more than happy to review uh, anything that any of you would send me uh, that being said it is that time of the video to start wrapping up and so I would have to say that if you're not in a rush of course you don't have to take the time to like or subscribe to my channel or comment but if you're not in a rush and and if you like this content and want to see more of it please do me a favor and subscribe 
turn on your notifications, share with your friends. I mean, you really have three options. You can not listen to anything I've said. You can accept everything I've said wholeheartedly. Or you can take what's true and good and spit out the bones. The choice is solely yours, as this is your spirit quest. I am merely a guide here to help maybe point you in the right direction. And that being said, hopefully I will see you next time as we continue our spirit quest together.